В Канаде за торговлю биоматериалом сажают на 10 лет или приговаривают к штрафу в полмиллиона долларов. Тем временем китайские ученые из Гуанчжоу уже отредактировали эмбрион, что скоро произведет революцию в индустрии. В прошлом году, после отмены закона о запрете на второго ребенка, в Китае возник бешеный спрос на репродуктивные услуги. Это при том, что в стране запрещена донация, а также криоконсервация аоцитов одиноких женщин. Несмотря на все запреты, к 2022 году Китай обещает стать крупнейшим рынком ЭКО в мире. So my name is Megan. I'm an American professor here in Astana. I'm 36 years old. I'm not married and I don't have children. My plan was always to adopt, so I always thought that can wait, it doesn't matter how old I am. Um, but then I was doing my research in Kazakhstan and working with children. And people were asking me every day when I was 32, 33, when are you going to have children? When are you going to have children? Adopting a child comes with its own responsibilities and its own complications, and you have to be ready to give up a lot to do that. And I don't know if I'm ready to give that up. And so for that reason, I'm thinking maybe it's more responsible to have my own child. And so now I've just started to worry about these. I love children. But I also love my life and I love my career and I don't want to give things up. And I just finished school and I'm starting a new career. I'm back here in Kazakhstan and people are again... Now they're asking me why I never had children because they think it's already too late. I was traveling and I met this older man and he was very friendly. But he was asking me, why didn't you have children? And I said, well, I'm thinking I'll adopt. And he was telling me, well, you're too old to adopt. You're going to have to get fake papers to say that you're 27 or no one will give you a child. So I'm too old even for my original plan. And it's also becoming more and more normal to, to freeze your eggs, but that's expensive. And I just finished graduate school and I have a job that's for four years, but it's not a permanent job. So. I just recently, this summer, I googled how much it costs to freeze your eggs. One night when I couldn't sleep, <laughs> and it's ten to twelve thousand dollars, and so. Really? Yeah. And does the insurance uh, cover it up, or? I don't think insurance covers freezing your eggs. I think in certain with certain insurance policies now they're in co they're covering IVF, but but for freezing your eggs, I think you still have to pay for that on your own. So I could I could come to Russia and have some some frozen eggs in Russia. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I think it's really funny that the American girl will go to Russia to freeze eggs because it's expensive.